Take one. Hi there, thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm taking on a request from you guys to make a reaction video to my solo debut as a concerto soloist. I am taking you back, way, way back, to when I was just 16. I'd only been playing the oboe for about two years, 10 months, give or take, and I was super grateful and lucky to be featured as a soloist with my high school concert band, playing Philip Parker's Soliloquy and Dance. My debut was at the Banff Center for the Arts, where the Seacove Secondary Concert Band played under the direction of Frank Lee as part of the Canadian Rocky Mountain Festival. To those who don't know me, hi, I'm Ron, and I post oboe content every week here on YouTube. I would like to encourage you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I am on Instagram as well, at oboron. Looking back, I cannot believe that I played a concerto at 40 500 feet. That is super hard and let me tell you why. It's because of reeds. reeds at altitude become much more stiff and sharp and more difficult to play. They're much less vibrant. I've since gone back to Banff a few times and performed up there and it is quite a challenge. Luckily, I was not making reads back then. At this point in my remaking journey, I could tie blanks and I knew how to scrape a read, but I sort of hadn't, I don't think at this point I'd made a read that worked yet. It was a true miracle that my high school oboe teacher, Roger Cole, who's the principal oboist of the Vancouver Symphony, made me a read that worked up there. I do remember the first time I brought this piece in to my teacher, he had never heard of it or had heard of Philip Parker, and I told him that Philip Parker is a composer from Arkansas, and Roger Cole looked at me and he said, Repeat after me, Arkansas, Arkansas. The piece I remember being super fun and cute. I think it's a great piece to play with your high school concert band because the parts for the band are not super difficult. The oboe part for me at the time was a little bit of a reach, but I think I handled it okay. I don't know, I'm really scared to listen to it to be honest. I'm sure that there will be parts that make me cringe, but I hope that they're all parts that I will like too. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh yeah, I couldn't do vibrato yet. So the guy playing bass clarinet is uh, Chris Barnes, and he's actually the band teacher now at Seek of Secondary, which is where I studied, which is kind of a cute little connection. That's so cute. I love that they clapped after the first theme.
A little memory slip. That's not vibrato, that's me literally just shaking. I was really nervous. It's like almost in tune, almost in tune. It's okay. Alright, clap between the movements, enjoy it. I know you liked it. Alright, here's the virtuosic dance. It's all jam. Real grace note, that was in the music. It just sounded wrong. Okay, good ends of time. Nice, okay, good. Some notes were left out of that scale. Happens to everyone. I think I was literally as nervous watching this as I probably was when I performed it. Uh, that was like nerve-wracking to watch. <sighs> I think the roughest part 
for me is a lot of it didn't sound comfortable. Like it didn't sound like I was for sure gonna get it. Like it didn't feel secure. And that's something that I really value when I listen to people now, because when I'm listening to someone, I don't want to be worried if they're gonna get it or not. Like I wanna just feel comfortable. I wanna be able to relax and like just enjoy the music that they're creating and I think that that is like kind of a barrier when things aren't super solid. Overall, now that I teach and I have like lots of students, especially students who are about that age, I feel like I should give myself more credit. I worked really hard on this concerto and I memorized it and I did it and I did it at altitude and yeah, I think that's a good thing. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna say I'm happy with it. It's good, I'm proud of it. It happened and uh, I'm a different player now, obviously just kept on working hard. Practice, 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 that's what I always say. Okay, all right. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was very entertaining for you watching me squirm. Please do let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for an upcoming video. As you saw, I literally took this request and I did it even though I was really scared to do it and I'm glad that it happened. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up below. It is much appreciated. And check out some more recent playing videos. I will suggest the Kali Woda Morso de Salon, which I played last year, and that'll give you a sense of what my playing has evolved into. <laughs> Additionally, if you're on Instagram, you can find me there at Oboron, where I post daily tips, tricks, and practice videos. Thank you so much, and have a great day.